Greetings and salutations, viewers. To I, Cybertron X, coming to you with part four. Think about it. Part four of the Power Rangers Jungle Fury Megazord set. Um, today we're going to flash forward to episode twelve, called "A Master Too Many." And in this episode, this is uh, now I just realized when they introduced the new masters. It was always master episode, regular episode, master episode, regular episode, master episode. So you have a. It's interesting. Well, in this part, um, we're going to talk about. Uh, well, let's let's get onto it. Um, in the episode, uh, Casey and is talking with RJ and he's he's talking about he's ready for his new master to make an appearance. Um, because, you know, Lily and Theo both have their new master, which the, gives them the new weapons and the new zords. And RJ thinks he's, uh, uh, not RJ, but Casey thinks he's ready for his master. Well, he finally does meet the new master. And RJ tells Casey, um, I don't think this is the master for you. And we're referring to Master Finn. Now, Master Finn, it is revealed, is the father of RJ. And, you know, he realized, you know, our, uh, his, Master Finn wasn't too happy of uh, RJ not learning Master Finn's technique of the shark, except going and going with somebody else. So there's always been a little bit of a tension between them on that part. But Casey does learn from Master Finn about the way of the shark and getting the new uh, weapon, the shark fin blades. And learning those techniques. Well, in the battle that sues, um, Master Finn sees RJ morph and become a ranger and is very proud of him. And in this in the battle uh, with the the uh, the monster of the week, don't remember who it was, but it could swim, and you know the Jungle Pride Megazorn, basically being made of all cats, had a little disadvantage, um, and they were getting beat badly. Master Finn instructs Casey to to summon the power and the spirit of the shark, and we are talking about the. Shark Zord, right here. Let's zoom down a little bit so I can show you this thing on the ground. Alright, here's the Shark Megazord. The shark Spirit Megazord. Um, out of all the Zords, this is actually the only one that can roll. And I mean, it rolls well. Um, it is highly detailed. As you can see here, it, there is the shark's face. The fins, now if you can see here, the fins are actually pretty neat. Red, yellow, blue. Same color as the rangers. So basically what you see here is an armored up shark. Which looks pretty cool. I mean, it's the only, it's the only zord of the series that rolls. Alright. onto its connection to the Jungle Pride Megazord. Now this is pretty neat. Now you notice that you have these little tabs, these little spots here, and these two little pegs here. That's for the this Zord. Now this Zord is pretty neat. You go ahead and separate the tail. Alright. From the main head. Split it. And it's really tight. You have to be careful because if that breaks, ugh. <laughs> and you see these little spots here. You fold those out. And it does take a little bit of effort to get these things on here just right. one and here 
is the other. See, that one has a tendency to want to pop. And there's the weapon system. The blades. Let's we'll slide that back a little bit. Nope. Next, you want to take the shark's head. Fold up the side fins like that. And fold this piece back. Lift up the head. <coughs> and insert the shark head. This has a different secondary head than the first two. Um, more of a... I want to say it gives it more of like a scuba mask. But, um... He's also been dubbed... The Pope Hat Mode. <laughs> Just come on, look, look, at this, look at the helmet. But, yeah. All checking this aside. The shark's tail. Bring this up a little bit. Becomes like the uh, shark fin swords. Becomes blades. And it also enables the zord to swim. To go underwater. Which is a pretty cool... Pretty cool thing, uh, a concept. It's like the, um, bat zord giving them the ability to fly. And the elephant zord giving them an increased amount of strength. Each zord, when combined with the jungle pride mega zord, increases the ability or gives it a new ability. Which is pretty cool. Now, I really do like that concept. So, what do I say about the uh, shark mode? A little comical, but it's actually nice. Now, for the next review, which I forgot to show in the last two episodes what I was going to review next, but tomorrow's episode, we're going to be talking about... The Wolf Zord, and how just that one Zord changes the name of the Megazord from the Jungle Pride Megazord to the Wolf Pride Megazord. I will say this, these swords are full naked bacon. So Cybertron X, it's morphin' time. <laughs>